Yo, what's up, guys? Axelite Fox Ninja here. We are back there. If you are, welcome back to another episode of The Boss, the Jacksepticeye fan game by Sarcastic Pasta Studios. We are back, and I don't know what part it is, but we are just getting on with it. We don't have a huge portion of the game left, so I'm, I don't know if we'll finish in this episode or the next. We'll just have to see. So right now, we're we have Billy and Jenny with us. So let's just go right for it. Just <laughs> So they are only capable of sight in a straight line in front of them. They're kind of stupid that way. But with the cuts to funding, we've been digging through the old warehouses. At least the bullets are every bit as lethal. I'm gonna just try and die at the beginning then. <laughs> I hope they never change. Alright, here, let me close out of some stuff so I can say that I'm offline and recording. I don't know, but the weirdest stuff goes on when I'm not recording. It's funny. Like, I checked Discord, I'm like, what happened? Lethal? Don't worry, I think player agency has us both covered here. Player agency? it take a while to explain without the rulebook. Just know you that you're safe from ultimately dying here. Okay. I have to go supervise the other test subjects. Their vitals indicate that they appear to be waking up and will need someone to conduct their side of the experiments. Ah. Ooh, does Glass like him? Oh, that sounds ominous. Does it? I suppose I'm just happy to have so many test subjects again. It makes yeah. me feel a little more pleasant inside. Anyway, I'll be back once you finish the test. All right, Glados. I don't know a lot about Portal. Just like the basics of it. Just port one portal to another. A little more pleasant, I'd like to see the scale for that. Did anything about that strike you as odd, Billy? All of it! I mean, it sounded like there were more stuff subjects than just us. You don't suppose she has other subscribers, do you? I don't think so. Aside from you and Cliff, I think everyone else got uploaded was accounted for. Well, that's a relief. You must have amazing connections here in Wireland, you know, something like that. I don't know how you all do it. Yeah, we're amazing like that. Let's just get to these things turned off and get back to the others. Alright. Well, well. I wanted to do that round. <laughs> I'm such a troll. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay, that time I didn't beat it. I just wa I'm just walking straight and everything like a total idiot. Okay, let's be serious this time. I know what this is. But I have a feeling if I do touch it. Wait. What is this? I'm not touching that. We would be so dead. True that. Ah, oh, I see how this works. Last talking about more test subjects is still bothering me. I don't know who it could be though. She's crappy, I'll get rid of that, so it could be any number of people. And could even be other game characters. Most well, face that description though. Yeah. Hey again, Jenny, I think our short list just got shorter. Yeah. Nothing! <laughs> Wait, Aperture? Who's Aperture? I don't know. I'll tell you later. Okay, well, don't wait for too long. Got me all curious now. Yeah. Well, let's try not to die. Yep. Okay, so it's the same thing as. Is that a portal gun? I feel bad for what? If I wasn't about to be riddled with bullets. True. So which one will this destroy? Ah. Oh. Nap time. Could you come over here? Okay, let's be careful about this, though. It burns. On the subject of things still bothering me. Subscriber, subscribers again? No, it's it's actually about I Jack. Don't blame you. Jack, what about Jack? Well, it could be my imagination, but something strikes me as weird about him. Weird? Well, Jack's usually weird, but weird how exactly? I don't know, he's just, I mean, he doesn't feel like Jack. Well, I mean, when you put it that way... Still standing there? 
just push the button? Can we get a move I know, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I'm like, why do we have to have a whole conversation about this? Like, like when you I talk about the button. I mean, I kind of rhymed, but yeah, I get what you, I get your drift. I know what you mean. Um, so which one? Wait, what if we press the button again? Hello. Ah, there's one down there. And then, oh, that destroyed a different one than I thought. Error, error, error. And I'm guessing this one will destroy that bottom one right there, right next to us. Okay, never I mean, I guess if we're... I mean, I guess if we were right next to it, it would freaking kill Billy, so that's not good. Yeah, Sir, how, how was. Oh, I forgot to read that. that. Yes, I find characters' backstories to be fascinating, especially when there's a lot of very de detailed lore. Oh, sucks. That's giving me some Phoenician fur vibes. Um, actually, it wasn't too long ago that I started working for him. Not too much, really. He tried running me through the tests, but apparently my scores were so dis uh, different, in a higher sense of the word, that she promoted me to her right-hand man. Sweet, do you have an actual name or something, or are you just... And now she's got me looking for test subjects something. and helping with getting the tests and stuff. It's amazing how hard it isn't once you get to work. These job descriptions just make it sound more difficult than it actually is. Like BSing a school paper. Yeah. So when you went to school! Billy, please. Anyhow, that's pretty fa Anyway, that's pretty fascinating. From humble beginnings to upper echelons. Huh? Oh, yeah. Is she sweet-talking him? kind of supervising. Like, you two are my first, but I can definitely can say that I'd love to keep helping her like this. And with the way things are going, you two might end up being my permanent... Oh, I think this is Citrus, by the way. It, I think they told me that. Together. I'm puzzled all the time, man. Jeez. I mean, yeah. Okay, let's try to die. Boom. <laughs> I don't know why that is just so funny though. Oof. Access denied. Oof. Okay, that's the last one. And dialogue. Told you. You have shown exceptional intelligence in completing this test. How well did they do, Employee 207? Give him an actual name, jeez. Oh, very well. And thank you for letting me oversee this. It was quite an experience. You seem to be responding as hypothesized. Very good. I'm sorry, what was that? Did I say something potentially damaging? No, it was nothing. Anyway, being so short-staffed, it falls upon me to redirect the other two to the next puzzle. Keep an eye on them, Employee 207. I'll be back to set up the next test for them afterwards. I think our suspicions were just covered with a huge confirmed stamp. Seems like it. Please do not be alarmed when we tell you this, but we think GLaDOS might be, well, maybe using you as a test subject. What? No, that, that's just ridiculous. Why would she? When we were talking earlier, you, you, you did mention being a test subject for her before. Uh, yeah, that was after she found me hiding in the recording booth. <laughs> just now? That was a lot of time for testing. No. No, I was just pretending to be the narrator when you showed up. She asked me to do that. Okay, but please think about it. She may never have stopped... She may have never stopped... <laughs> never stopped using you as a test subject, even after you... Even after giving you your promotion. Come on, this is a GLaDOS we're talking about! She totally would! Her talk about hypo hypothesized behavior didn't really sound like it was directed at us. It seemed more like you. Yeah. It did. It seems like she's been implying that us, Jack, and Cliff aren't the only subjects she has. You know any others? No. You four are the only ones she has. Point. Made. And seen. I don't know. And this just got depressing. You know what? Screw this. Go through the door. I'll meet up with you guys later. Are you gonna have an actual name? Well, shall we? Let's. Alright. <clears throat> I'll be interested to see what he looks like. Jack! Cliff! You guys are okay? 
We were so worried. So were we. Our, our puzzle was dangerous. You could say that again! Dangerous? Ours wasn't. We had to slide the cube around. Poor thing had to die to save us. That's all? They gave us turrets. Turrets. Billy, you should be a gentleman and protect her by being a bullet sponge. <laughs> Come on, Jack. I wasn't going to let anything happen to her. I'm not harmless. Seriously, you of all people should know that. You seen it? What? Hundreds of times now? Hey, we're, we're fine. Yes, turrets were older as models. Easier to deal with. That's good. I'd say ours was more dangerous to our city. <laughs> it was just a cube. I'm not joking. Okay, I want to be down here after the moon got line, but we're still definitely in a ton of danger. What do we do now, then? We rebel. Rebel against GLaDOS? Yes. Rebel against GLaDOS. She's had me wrapped around her digital fingers since the day she found me. And we're putting a stop to it right here and right now. Ooh. Right here? Okay, well, maybe not right here. <laughs> We'll have to get to where she yeah, this is an intense bot boss sequence space. Your room. Path for you guys to follow, and it should take you right out of here. Nice. You all get going. I'll deal with Glados myself. Ooh, Star Wars, st Star Wars intense final battle style. Oh, frick. Are you sure? Be careful. Um, yeah, she's tricky. Thanks to us, seven. Let's get going. He's. It reminds me of Double O Seven, kind of. I don't know. Now we're together again. Let's get out of here. Well said, Jack. Wait. Oh, I can go into the plant. Okay. Oh, I should also save that. Oh, I should have saved that a long time ago, but okay. What does this say? The St Stanley Par Parable Adventure Line. Oh, I see. Oh. Um. I see. I see. What the? the? Oh, it's saying no. Um. Can we go? Oh, we cannot go back. Selmers, hi. Hey, Jack. Do you want to hear a poem? I guess sure. My name is Selm, and when you run, or when you're having lots of fun. When the line leads you to me, I sit here and read poetry. That was awesome. Hey, thanks for that. Gotta run now. Like Somers. I like Somers. It's cool seeing Night in the Woods. Is this gonna be a collage of all the games? I don't know. I hope so. I, I can't run on lines like this, so I guess I'll do the best I can, really. The game's probably gonna tell me I didn't run on the lines anyway, so I... I might get an achievement if I run the lines, but I don't... I don't care too much because I know that all the secrets can probably be found somewhere or another it's probably like a way I can even go inside the walls if I had to is this uh what is that I don't know so that connects there that connects there that connects there geez this is all over the place what the Oh, okay. Well, that's the thing. I'm guessing if I followed the line the whole time, I could do it. Hey, it's home! Maybe we should stay here to keep Billy alive. I've been fighting against that for years. You have a uh, hundred's worth of proof, Jack. We get it. True. De -de -de. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My ears. That's cool, though. Oh, we can save. Oh, I'm getting scope. Or not scope, Skype notifications. Great. Well, I guess we just progress. And I'm getting Skype notifications. Great. Oh, we have a thing now. C-N-K-S-B-A-Y-I-R-E-T-U-J-P. I guess we're going to get this explained later, so wait. Oh, does it spell like Stanley Parable? It's the peanut gallery. You come to watch the demise of employee 207? Well, not that you could actually see it, given he's an invisible entity. What? Guys, I'm glad you're here. 207, you don't sound good. This is tougher than I expected. Turns out I can't do this alone. Wait a minute, why are you lying, Alf? 
this place lead us here? I could have sworn I told it to take you guys to safety. Wait, oh no. So some that was the Stanley Parable Adventure Line TM. Oh man, you're right. This that just takes you to adventure wherever it is. Must have been here then. Well I'd like to think this was fate. We'll help you in any way we can. You must be fooling yourselves. You can't possibly reach me, and even if you could, how are you going to stop me? You don't have any weapons. But we have the power of bossness. Guys, get to the other room. All right. What are you doing? Get back here. Okay. Now what do we do? There's a lot of buttons here. We probably need to do something with those. Well, it's probably a good idea to not touch any of them until we know what to do. Exactly. You're gonna need to press those in a certain order I've programmed to initiate what I'm calling the end game protocol. You wrote a program behind my back. Clever. So it's like the self destruct button on Friendly's for Maybe great. A little too clever. If I unleash you, or any of them, upon the world, who knows what could happen. That sounds a little too ominous. I'm a clever one. I may be a killer aperture science facilitator, but I'm a fair killer aperture science facilitator. Oh, you have fair. two minutes before you meet your demise. And don't worry, I'll write some nice things about you. Hey, thank you, I appreciate it. Tried hard. <laughs> <laughs> Showed signs of near, intelligence. near intelligence. Something like that. Alright, I'm... You're going to blow this place up? Oh, but don't worry about me. I can transfer myself to a safer location, so Aperture Science will be with me in the other parts of the facility. This part will be, without a doubt, out of commission for good. Not if we stop you. Oh. Okay, so, see those buttons? It's don't stop talk or keep talking and you won't explode. It's Stanley Parable, isn't it? Stan. Crap, I don't know how to spell it though. Lose. Lee. Um, where's a Y? What? Why did the timer stop? Oh. Now! Head to the pedestal and throw something in! What? Is this the pedestal? In! Don't you mean on? What do we use? I don't know, but whatever it is has to be small. Throw Billy! <laughs> what about that potato? That was our time to be hungry! Wait. They'll fit on, on top perfectly. Haha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very funny. Is that a reference? Somehow that worked out better than expected. I guess it is now. You have fun with the nostalgia, GLaDOS. <laughs> Wait. No. No. This can't be happening. Not again. Again? No! I suppose you find this terribly funny. Oh my gosh, she got turned into the Excuse potato. Me. Because as soon as I get out of this form, I am going to terminate your sorry... And send them to oh. afterlife you all may care to believe in. Billy, would you like to do the hundreds and just squish the potato? You all really did it. You all really did it. <laughs> Whoa, man. That's pretty touch and go, but wow. You all really came through and saved our hides. Just thank you. Billy, thank you so much. Hey, it was cool being on a ride with you. Oh, geez. What I, what I press. Hey, happy to be, still be alive. Man, my heart's still panting like crazy. Woo! I might need to lie down. Just like, right here. Please don't step on me. Or trip. Watch your feet. My hands are really shaking, but I'm glad we're alright. But you don't seem very relieved. Are you alright? It's not that. I am relieved. I guess I'm just really feeling kind of numb right now after going through all this crap. How did... you just... why didn't you get censored? About the... EV censoring was primarily for my benefit. Just because I don't censor around me doesn't mean I don't know the words already. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Fructose, you too, Billy. That's so sweet of you, Jack! <clears throat> yes, well, as charming as all... I'll need to censor that out. 
Thanks so much again for everything. Yeah. You've really opened my eyes. I thought I wouldn't have to do any censoring, dang it. Aw, oh, thanks, man. What are you going to do? I think I'll head back to party hard. It's been a while, and, well, having a near-death experience outside of your own game really makes you think long and hard about your life. Hey, so, nice. Thank you. I'll make sure you guys get out of here safely. Alright. You're welcome, and thanks. Be seeing you around, 207. Nice. Uh, what happens now, though? Can we press any more buttons? <laughs> oh, we can go this way. Hey, it's the griffin thing. I don't know. Hey, look at the Let's look at the thing on the ground first. Is that Undertale? Oh! Hey, it's the Hydrospersion Key. It must have spawned outside the game. Are you serious? What through all that? It's just here? Oh, that we didn't see it on the way out. I think we spawned right into Stanley's office, so that's no real surprise. I bet GLaDOS did this on purpose. Well, it doesn't matter. That's the last key. Nice. Yay! Now everyone's good and alive. Was that circus baby? Oh wait, oh no, those are the other guys from before. <laughs> nice. A goo. Not this again. Hey, what are you doing in line? Market research. Have to keep uh, an eye on our competitors too. Plus, we thought we could po pickpocket a few people and kids and sell their stuff back to them. That sounds like you two, all right. Pretty sure that's illegal. It's only illegal if you get arrested. You do realize there's law enforcement in the building, right? Not for long. That's ominous. Okay. Please don't kill our friends. Oh, Jack. Toil, let me guess. The kitchen's still unsuitable for my viewing? That is correct. Somehow, the unthinkable has happened. Unthinkable? What does that mean? It means it's something you couldn't possibly think of, Jack. Very funny. Spaghetti that Papyrus and Undyne had cooked early has morphed into a being of sentience is demanding sacrifices. We are currently assembling a team to dismantle the monster and send its core back to the nether of space. Please tell me the end credit scene is just them actually doing that. You know, Toriel, you were absolutely right. That was the unthinkable. I mean, yeah. It was true. Potato Man, how are you? So I guess it's pointless asking for the king in my own bedroom. You need immunity. Immunization record. We need to make sure you are clear of such plagues as sleep, love, these nuts, stupidity. Yeah, thanks for infecting Wireline with laugh little stupid diseases. You can't take it back and I'll break your mind. <laughs> Seriously. It's still funny. How are you pushing 3D and still this immature? You're 30. Oh, 30. I thought it said 3D. I'm an idiot. With great immaturity comes great responsibility. I need a vacation. Get passports and immunization records and come back. Glory to us, Tatska. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that um plague um outbreak reference? I love that. That game's so funny. Fortnite has infected the US. <laughs> hey friend. Hello, Billy. Hello, Jack and Cliff. Thank you again for saving my kitty. It was no problem, only took a creepy dark ritual. Oh what? I did do a dark ritual bring Mr. Midnight back to friends reality. No biggie. Yan? Oh, I'm sorry, Fran. I wish you'd call me. I could have helped. I know you would have, but I'm sure you were doing something really important for the team. Oh, uh, yeah, I was. Really important. They could not have done it without me. I walked through three thousand pieces of scraps, all the killing electronics from them so that they could find a high special key and save millions of fans from eternal trauma in the hard drive. How very brave of you. That's me. Brave. Thank you one for a team. Should we tell her what he was wearing? No, oh, man, let him have his moment. Something. Thank you for reuniting me, my dear friend. It was nothing. Okay, I almost died a few times, but no big deal. Okay, you did die a couple times, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, I'm not online and people are still texting. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're okay, Mr. McKnight. Here, I'll have to edit this out. Um, alright. Uh, now I'm done with that. Um, we still have, we have, we have a lot of time so we can finish this. Ooh. Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. You know, one time I was out of a playground and there was this cicada on the ground and I ate it. Why are you telling me this? It was really crunchy with the insides were all squishy and it felt really weird in my mouth. Um, can we change the subject? It was a wonderful adventure and why I'm not allowed to near the kindergartners anymore. That's lovely. 
It's called flavor text, but they don't usually make it flavorful. I thought this would add the appropriate flavor. Mate, nothing you say is appropriate. You just wanted to brag about eating bugs. That too. Fair enough. You're back! Did you have a fun adventure? Not really. You commit lots of cool crimes. Crimes. I don't know. I can't. I can't imitate Zach's voice of crime. Crimes. That's more of it. Well, we were technically trespassing. Well, we did almost blow up a nuclear facility. Yeah, we almost died in horrible death. Minor detail. I. I hope, I hope I can blow up a nuclear facility one day. For all of our sakes, we hope you never get the chance. If you do, I'm not bailing you out of prison. Again. I'll bail you out. You wouldn't be able to from behind bars. I meant that in spirit. Fair enough. How are you holding up, Angus? I'm exhausted. I've been trying to protect your apartment. What's well, everyone been doing? You don't want to know. But involved undying papyrus, a blowtorch, and the last of your kitchen appliances. I'm just getting this image of Angus with like like a welder's mask on his head and a freaking flamethrower. It will rule the world one day. I'll hail your new overlord. Not my cooker! Its funeral was especially touching. Fair enough. Don't talk to me, I'm brooding. Um, why? Because it's my character. I'm brooding and a little bit sarcastic. A little bit? Shut up, I just need a cigarette. You have one in your mouth. Which you're not allowed to smoke in my apartment. Yes, I respect that. I also can't smoke outside your apartment either. Super wild and is so fragile. I have to go back to the game to smoke. So we'll go back to your game? I can't. They won't let me. They? I'm their ride. Have you tried quitting? I'm sure your friends would support you if you decided to, and it would be better for your lungs. Oh, stop the PSA. Everyone knows smoking's bad for you. We do it because subconsciously we just want to die. Oh, well, it's your funeral. Well said, Billy. <laughs> Jeez, that was depressing. It's not a game. Game console. As you know, have you been stuck on this inside of the computer? Poorly pixelated mayhem, probably. Well said, Jack. Hey, it's Nugget. I'll talk to him first. Nugget is disconsolate that you are to be leaving Wildland so soon. Oh, Nugget, I'm sorry. Nugget will never forget the time we had together, however minuscule. We didn't really have a lot of time together. Nugget has not forgotten the time we brought about the apocalypse together. You have kept your Nugget safe. But I don't have it with me. It is a metaphysical Nugget. The Nugget in your heart. But please take this final nugget as a token of nugget appreciation. Yes, you got the nugget. I love that. Now nugget is distressed over your departure and does not like long goodbyes. Shoo. Okay. Bye nugget. I love him. Please stay away from the kitchen. I've been hearing that a lot lately. It's a good idea to repeat sound life-saving advice every so often. I have a feeling we better listen to them this time. I mean, it's not like we can get past Toriel anyway. She seems to have her best interests at heart. True. Don't look in the kitchen. Huh. You've been a lot more subtle. Subtle. And that play all the other times we've been there. At this point, avoiding the kitchen could save your lives. So it's best to come out and say it. Don't go in the kitchen. <clears throat> Doing these voices really strains my throat sometimes. We should probably take that advice. I agree with you. Let's go in! Billy, do not make me carry you around like a sack of potatoes to save you from whatever undying papyrus literally cooked up. You'd save my life? Um, yeah, I guess I would. Oh, your story arc is complete. My story arc was about saving Billy's life all this time. I need a more interesting arc. <laughs> At the very least, you're showing growth. I'm proud of you, Jack. Thanks, Jenny. I'm gonna go punch a tree to get these warm, fuzzy, fuzzy feelings out of my system. Fair enough, undying. I want you punch the mill box. This is what happened. So that was fun. Oh, and that was also yesterday, so yay. You're back. How did this round go? It was filled with insanity and existentialism. So, good then. It was definitely... It was definitely interesting. I had a good time. We almost died! <laughs> I know, it was awesome. See, for virus, Cliff's got the right idea. We're outside our game, Undyne. Flaming unicycles are out of the question. Spoil sort. 
Spoil. Spoil sword. So bleh. Sport. I don't know. A anyhow, did you find the hydrospiration key? Yeah, we found it. It uh, wasn't easy. Actually, it was easy. The road to get in it? Not too much. Can you incorporate crashes were so difficult to work around? Huh? Never mind. Here you go, Office. Office. The six is the computer for good, right? Ah, there we go. Well, let's see what I can do. Hm. Yeah, we did it. Yes, now we can. What? Well, go home. Jack, what's the matter? Well, I mean, we can go home now, and of course we have to. But I have no idea how we got here in the first place. I'll admit, I'm going to miss it. Y'all leaving? Well, I mean, this is in our world. I can't really play games unless I'm outside the computer, can I? He's right, Papyrus. I'm going to miss you so much. Yeah, you're awesome for a total dork. I'm going to miss you too. I hope it's not a place for me to say this, but if I had to, if I didn't have time to work on y your computer the whole time, I oh gosh, I'd like to spend more time with you, Jack. Oh, you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys so freaking much. Even if you're not my version of the characters, you're the first ones I ever saw. We shall miss you too, Cliff. And you, Jenny. Same man, you guys are really sweet people. Sweet to hang with. Oh, don't forget. Double date. Just ask Jack for his IP address. I can't wait to meet your guys. I know it was a short time. I It took me a moment to register what that meant, because I had to refer back to the previous episode, but yeah. I know it was a short time, but apparently that's all it takes. I'll miss you all too. Jack, you have the best fans, and, and now you guys are going to be friends. And nothing like a good adventure bring people together. Speak out, Papyrus. You said we're outside our game. Does that mean if we were inside our game, you considered the unicycles? I suppose so, but that depends on who's riding them. Maybe we could get Sans to do it. Bet, one, uh, bet him one gold and he'll do it. His dignity is cheap. Dude, the guard pays me well. I could do that for days. Anyway, that's not, that's not, not that I don't mind delaying what's coming, but. Oh, he, he, yeah, we should get you guys home. All you need to do is g go through your bedroom door, and that should do it. It's set up to take you all home. Why the bedroom? The, the computer was a bit finicky with the directions. I got through the firewall, but it won't set up the way home anywhere else. But that's being blocked off. Now little potato man stubs himself the border guard for Jack's bed chambers. You can forge your documents. Sans is great at forgery. Undyne, you're a royal god. How could you suggest such a thing? There's literally no way to get legit documents in th that game. So I fire with fire, huh? Sounds good to me. Now he's going no difference. He's all stuff he gave you, Jack. Obvious forgeries, yeah. Well, it's worth a shot. Well, you better get in line soon. Sans doesn't serve cutters. He's less to the front so far. He's been... He's been cracking down rules since this little kid started going through the line putting gum in people's hair. Are we going to have to stand in that really long line? You might not need to, Billy, but Jack certainly will, and I'll stand with him, even if I don't need documents. Yeah, that's a good point. Are we going Are we going to need to fool him, too? No, he says he runs a strict border, but if he sees you're with THE Jack, he'll let you by. Well, better get going. Well, you should. Before you go, you should... Know that once you leave the house, you've left Wyland. As soon as you cross the border between the game and reality, you can't come back. If you tried to go back, you'd get into the apartment. We wouldn't be there. No one fictional would be. So... So only real people through the door? Only real people. No game characters. We can't leave with you, Jack. That's okay. I really appreciate everything you've done. Yeah, I'm really, really... Pr I'm really glad we met you. you know, j just as cool as your videos make you look. Thanks, everyone. I guess we've got a line to stand in. Let's get going, Pawseptic guy. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, Sam moved. Oh, great. <coughs> How much time do we have? Oh, yeah, I can keep this going. I I guess we can finish it. Let's see what happens if we try and talk to Potato Man. So I guess one of us asking if I can get in my own bedroom. Okay. Okay, we... Yeah. Oh, you two are stuck, Scott. Oh, great. <coughs> oh. Huh?
Why did the game crash? Oh gosh, what happened? The game literally crashed on me. Oh great, I have to check this out. Oh great. Let's try to boot it up again. I'm guessing that was intentional. Otherwise my computer just couldn't handle it, which I hope that's not it. Ah, there we go. Gotta love that sweet megalovania. This is some good art. Jeez. Is that... that's Steve. <laughs> I pressed, I right clicked, whoops. Late. <laughs> Billy and a goo. Oh boy. Oof, empty bag of chips. Magneton, are you freaking serious? Oh, I missed the other stuff. Who's that, though? Oh, and Alphys Alphys is in line, too. Alphys is in line, too. Sorry guys, I'm completely sold out. Here's why you spend like who even knows how long is that? Like I say, you're popular, but I got a hairbrush here you can have. Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair. Well, it's just discrimination. I offer you a perfectly good hairbrush and you criticize my appearance? <laughs> how hairy you? Your insulting comments really cut me deeply. I'm dying. I'm dying inside. At least it adds more color to the conversation. Thanks for your offer, but I'll pass on the brush. But I guess you can also just tell a potato man who you are. He might let you through. Who knows, weird things have happened. Guess it's not a half-baked idea if we but butter him up a bit. This one. I like this one. <laughs> Alright, pass up the guy. I think we should take our chances. Thanks, Sans. I think. Alright. Oh, jeez. What do you say, Sam? One more time? Yeah. Whoa. It's baby and everyone. So I guess this is a goodbye. I'll talk to you once I can. I guess this, I'll miss you, Angus, even if you didn't say all that much. Sometimes it's better not to fight to get a word in edgewise, especially with Greg and May around. In that case, Greg will always listen to me later. And take care of Greg. He and I are very similar. For some reason, this concerns me for the people in your life. People like them are necessary to make some people happy. So true. He only says that about me all the time. Oh well, shoot, sometimes it's nice not to have to talk. Huh, yeah, that's true for my voice right now, because it... Ugh, ugh, it's hurting. That's literally how much it hurts. Ugh. Take care. Thanks, Angus. Oh, now I have to talk to the whole gang. Do you have to leave? There's so many things that you can still do while you're here. Maybe next time we could visit you in your world. That would be awesome. That would be a catastrophe. And the consequences would be a lot more permanent. But seriously. But seriously, I'm gonna miss you guys. Come back anytime. Next time, bring cookies. Maybe less flammable ones. I'm going to miss you too. Jack, I don't think we ever said it, but thanks for playing our game. Well, Mayor, you're welcome. I had a great time. Yeah, I love Lori and Nine Woods. We had a great time too. We're really happy to live in your computer now. There are so many crimes we can commit. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, how are you guys not logged up right now? We keep escaping. 
We're on their frequent flyers list. Perhaps I should patch my computer security. That ruins everyone's fun. I may waste you around me. Only if I don't see you first. Well, goodbye, I guess. Aw, oh, B, let me give you a hug. Don't you dare. Or what? I'll bite you. She has a prick she has prickly personality. What was your first clue? Anyway, see you, B, I'll miss you. Don't tell anyone, but I'll miss you too. Oh. Yeah. One more time. You're gonna be seeing that a lot here. Oh man, saying goodbye already, you're breaking my heart. Sp it's been fun, Sans, except for the part where we waited in line for countless hours. Yeah, that would be annoying. Hey, it's all part of the experience. I also see Bendy in the back. I didn't say mention that, though. I guess I'll see you around. I'll buy something before you go. I think I have a paperclip here I can let you have cheap. Thanks, but no thanks. It's okay. I don't know if I want to let you go. Let it go. It's a sample of my shop. Sans, that was awful, even for you. It was a, it was a staple of... Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's what makes it fun. See you around, Jack. I wish Jack would revert to his old, uh, uh, New Yorker stance. I always really loved that, because it was so, it was nice. It was a different take on it. I wish you the best, my child. I'm sad to see you go, but it is as it must be. Do visit from time to time, will you? Aw, oh, visits for Ma, visits for Toriel. Ha ha ha, I would love that very much. Cyron, because in the game, she doesn't let you see it. Oh. Stopping by to say goodbye to me. Of course, why wouldn't I? Oh, that means that you care, doesn't it? Of course we care. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, people. You know, I gotta ask. How come you did? How come you get to have an adventure in your computer? It's lucky, I guess. Man, it's all that luck of the Irish, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I can't do my Mark voice that well anymore. I have to get me some of that luck, or a reasonable substitute. This is luck with that, Mark. I won't be mad, but that was a good joke. Oh, I love Mark. Hey, he has hearts and heroes, so that's good. Well, Jack, it was a heck of a awesome to meet you. Even though we've spent a bunch of time in prison, it's still totally worth it. You know, Kim, take care, good care of Max, you two are meant to be. Please, she takes care of me, but thanks. I guess it's goodbye. How's that Felix with the pewed shirt? See you around, Max. You too. Play my game again sometime. I, maybe I will. I like to see a different couple of different outcomes. Well then, I look forward to it. Uh, my nose is itchy. Is that Mega Billy? I see. Safe travels. I've won the spike vault pits. Spike vault pits in my bedroom? It's more likely than you think. Oh, uh, okay. Either way, I'm, I'll be cautious. A spirit. Don't end up like me. Okay. Well, time has come to say goodbye, Mr. Midnight. It's really cool rescuing you. I'll never forget how terrifying it was. Bro, I swear that I'm deeply thankful that you did reunite me with Frank. Fran. <laughs> Thank you for that, Cliff. It was no problem. Oh. It was quite an experience meeting you, Jack and Cliff. I don't think I shall ever forget you. You kids will never forget you, especially Billy here. What, what, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Hi, I'm really happy. I'm really happy to have gone to know you. Please come back to Wyland sometime if you can. I don't know if it's possible, but if I'm ever around again, I'll be sure to look you up. Oh, and Billy, I have something for you. I painted it myself. <laughs> oh, what? I, um, I hope you like it. Wow, well, Fran, thank you. It's great. Aw, that's cute. Is that Pews? You look pretty good in that way. I hate to admit it, but Greencast is me. Maybe if I ever meet the real Felix, I'll give him some fashion tips. That's you, a true fashionista. Don't spread it around. Oh, Felix is funny, I'll admit that. Well, Zombie Bill, it's been interesting. Likewise, I thought I'd... I thought I'd... I never thought I'd actually meet you. Sorry for killing your friend, but he always got my job. Well, it's not like they can die permanently within their own game. That does help a lot with that, keeping things from being positive and violent. Two characters will be kind of a downer. Yeah, it, it really kill the mood around here. But I don't... <laughs> Anyway, nice to meet you, Jack and friends. I hope you'll bring more friend games, Billy's ears, and time. Oh. As long as they're not exact clones, I guess. Yeah. Jack, playing you taught me a lot about the power of your community, so thank you. You're welcome. They're the best. Can't wait to fight you again sometime. Likewise. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
I've had some good times together, Jack. Seriously, who are you? The fact that you don't remember speaks volumes later. <laughs> I'll have to see their game sometime. Oh, Jack, do you want to play one more game before you leave? I think I've just had about enough of your games, but thanks for the offer. Too bad, I was going to give you a free car if you won this time. I'll drive, and if I did, I, wouldn't, I couldn't take it with me. We'd find a way. That sounds highly illegal! That's what you need to get, Jack. Yeah, bye. Wait, again? <laughs> see you around. So, Jack, uh, I promise I'll pay to get everything fixed to replace. You know what? It's all water under the bridge. But you should say water. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> at least the kitchen isn't on fire anymore. Just ignore the rushing sounds. Yes, that is actually undying. What is it actually? It's actually full of shut up papyrus. Oh, because it sounds like shushing. I get it. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Don't forget to introduce Alf Alphys and me to your undying papyrus. Can't wait. Best crossover ever. Jack, I would like to say that I, the great papyrus, wish you the best wish you the best from the bottom of my heart. Though I don't have one, so I guess it would be fitting to say that the great papyrus wishes you the best from the bottom of his soul. Is what you have, I guess. Kind of like what I, we did earlier with the the thing at the place with the other thing. That sounds familiar. I don't know if we are if we are talking about the same thing on 9. Regardless, I wish you well, old Jack. May your journey home be every bit as great as papyrus is. Hey, Alphys, I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my computer. Oh, wow, it was nothing. I wouldn't be able to get back if it wasn't for you. You're the best, Alphys. Uh, Jack, you're gonna make me cry. Don't make her cry. I'll look like a horrible girlfriend because Zan sold all my tissues. Couldn't help it. There are doctors from plague areas are here. Figured they needed them more than I did. Oh, that's nice of you, Sans. <laughs> Thanks, Bats. I'm gonna wipe a runny nose. Aw, uh, but you're already a good girlfriend because you care. Caring doesn't wipe a runny nose, either. It, it, it's fine. I'll just use my sleeve. Problem solved. You're so smart, Alphys. Well, thank you again, Alphys. It was great meeting you. Honestly, it was great meeting all of you. Oh, nice. Um, I need to talk to these people, too. Yo, yo, it's Jacka Boy. Well, uh, I don't know. These, you two deaths. Your game might have been infuriating, but you're pretty cool, too. Well, if he's that'd be the game. I don't know these guys, so, um... Sorry, I, I'm gonna have to skip these because I don't know. Papers, please. Uh, will my ID work? I am Jack, you know, as in septic eye. Why you no say so in the first place? I just needed to make sure you were here. And I see now you are. You. I let you in cheap. <laughs> That's all I took this whole time. Hey, just be glad I worked out this time. I get. well, I guess this is it. Away we go. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for all the memories. Seriously, it's been amazing to meet you. Oh, if Jenny and Cliff are connected to DNA, we can all hang out with their alternates. Yeah, it's not totally good, totally goodbye. Hey, dude, you and humans can almost give our games a play and busy if you ever start missing us. Or even if you don't. Seriously, though, this has been an amazing experience. I guess I'll see you all in my spare time. I've got some games to revisit. Alright. Aw, oh, Billy has to go, too. Come on, Billy, we've got some subscribers to save. Can't track. Didn't you hear what Alpha said? Real people only. No, it's kind of far into you. You forgot it was just a character. Yeah, I, I actually wish you could come. Wish I could too. But you know, there's a couple of sprites and lines in the code. That's all I've ever been. No, you've been more than that. You've always been more than that. I know, actually. Feels weird to say this, especially to you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, Jack. Come on, that's not true. All I do is rage at you. I know. And because of that, you singled me out. Look around. So many versions of me everywhere. Everyone knows who I am. New subscribers, they really love me. Yeah, they love to hate me. But I'm not a major character. I don't have my own name. I don't even have my own name. All I am is a kid on the back of a bike. You made me so much more than that, Jack. You made me someone special. That's all any character could ask for. I may not have an official name, but I'm proud to be Billy. Oh, I'm glad Billy. This is gonna have... Oh. So I guess this... I guess this really is goodbye then. I guess it is. I should play Happy Wells every now and again. Promise you won't forget me? I promise, and Billy, thank you. Thank you for... 
Look, Jack, I don't want to do this long, drawn-out goodbye. I want to see All I want is hear you say what you always say to me. <laughs> Screw you, Billy. Screw you too, Jack. Come on, everyone. Let's go home. Nice. Nice. That was nice. L hold on, let me get some water one sec. I need more water, otherwise. Because I feel like this is a part where I'm going to have to do a lot more voicing. So, hold on. <sighs> Let's get back into this. Alright. Well, now what do we have here? I knew you'd come. What? Who are you? You seriously didn't miss me? I'm disappointed in you. I thought it would have been obvious. But also, I'm running around trying to undo my work. You mean... I'm the boss. What? But... I don't understand. Why you... Why did you try to stop us from leaving? Who are you? Wow, I guess it is true that no one really cares about me. They only ever tune in to see you. The boss is nothing after all. Jack, who is that? It's Auntie, right? Jack, it's your computer nuts and evil you, so that must be Auntie. No. It's Sean, isn't it? Ah, oh, you've caught on at last. About time. I wonder if you would figure it out or blunder around like an idiot with no idea what was really going on. Wait a minute, what? I thought Sean was your real name. No. Sean is his real name. Wait, but... Don't you get it? That's Jack, the goofball. The yelling idiot who never knows when to quit. He's not me. Not anymore. That's not true. Don't give me that. Don't try to turn against me. I made you. I'm the reason you even exist. No, don't you give me that, Sean. You trapped me mil you trapped millions of people on my hard drive. And for what? What was the purpose? It just doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. I didn't trap them here. Then who did? Don't you understand? It was Billy who orchestrated this whole thing. He trapped the subscribers. He called us here. That's crazy. Billy wouldn't do, any do that to us. He cares about the channel and the subscribers. They're what made him who he is. Oh, he didn't know what he was doing. He actually thought he was doing us a favor. No, that makes no... Have you ever wondered how he knew you needed power regulators and just so happened to have them on him? How he always just se seemed to know just the right things to say at the right moment. He trapped everyone. But he didn't do it to hurt you, or anyone at all. He knew that I was in conflict. <clears throat> Ugh. I needed a burp, sorry there. So I decided to set this whole adventure up so that I would be the hero. I would see how much my subscribers love me and need me. Then why are there two of you here? What do you think, Jack? Why are we two people? I was so conflicted. Perhaps the computer saw two different people when I was uploading. I turned I into us. Oh gosh, I just... Oh, please tell me I didn't... Oh, I opened windows. <laughs> Oops. Let me adjust my stuff again. It turned I into us. But there's no I in us anyways, but... He's not as dumb as he looks. So that's why everything felt off. You weren't completely... You, Jack. I saw I was wrong about you. Who you actually were. You seemed... Different. It's interesting. We're at 57 minutes, but I don't care. I want to keep playing. Calm, then. I'm surprised. I didn't think anyone would care. Why do you leave those messages? The boss is nothing. The boss is useless. What's the point in leaving them all over the computer to solve me from coming? Come on, Jack. You're smarter than this. You know how this place works. We affect canon more than canon. Our thoughts and opinions and moods, they shape this place. What it is, what it looks like. It's far more than ships or voices or head cannons. Even the messages found all over reflect how we really feel inside. So why are you still here? The only reason I didn't just leave is that I noticed two subscribers were missing. I couldn't just leave two people trapped in a hard drive forever. You mean we glitched in the games instead of wherever this is? Yes, it was a mistake. You should have been uploaded with the others. Oh, I guess we weren't special after all. 
So, that's not what I meant. Just come with me and everything is going to be fine. What did you do to them? You're with the others now, they're fine. You are not leaving me here. Where are you go and what are you going to do about it? I'm not going to let you win. Game has been auto saved. Feel your hands shaking and your heart beating. Shift to begin. Shift around oh I accidentally oh I should wavering not stop trying to change your fate. Oh Oh that's cool, I love that. Game crashed, legit, I'm not joking. Ooh. So I guess yeah, I literally have to go on autosave now. So let's talk. Come on, Sean, I know you don't want to do this. Do you? Do you really? I might have been the same person once, but now everyone expects me to be you all the time, but I'm more than just you. I'm sick of drowning you in so much that I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh, stop trying to change your... Oh, I'm not supposed to hit the... It's like Scary Maze game, but I can't touch the, can't touch the walls. Oh, that's annoying. Let's do this. Alright. So you're drowning that I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh, I have ten seconds right now. <laughs> da 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 da. You feel powerless. He doesn't seem to see you. I know that's not true. You saved for Jenny and Cliff. You wouldn't leave without them. I know you still care. That's not what this is about. And what is it about? It's about the real reason we're doing this. It's for the subscribers, because we want to make them happy. And it's because they expect it out of us. And I'm sick and tired of keeping up this facade. You have to change his mind, but he's not listening. What do you mean? You aren't making any sense. You. You have no idea what it's like trying to act the same way day, same way day in and day out, without anyone re recognizing the real person behind it all. It's tiring. If it weren't fun for me to make the videos, I would have quit long ago. But now, I'm s it's starting to lose its luster. Right. Oh boy, avoid the blue. Oh, I see how this is. It serves you well. Oh, great. Well. Game's gonna. Oh, okay. At least it's not. Um. Let's change his mind, but he's not listening. What do you mean, you are You, you have no idea what's trying to. Okay. Avoid the blue words. Okay. We got this. Oh, are you serious? That's so dumb. I was literally so close, and I kept taking walls. <laughs> no, okay, well. Oh, are you freaking serious? Come on, come on, yes. I want to tell him that th this is just a momentary feeling. The words won't come. Don't you think you're overreacting? Maybe you do need to change the pace, but getting rid of me isn't going to do anything. Like what? A vacation? You really think we could just put down everything? Just put everything down, turn off our social media, and upload that long? He is off the schedule and relentless algorithms and internet re revel revel events would begin to crush us. And if I could take a vacation, I can't even go to the moves without you being called out too. Ever heard of burnout? Well, I suppose a little ball of energy like you wouldn't understand. Oh. What's up? No, please don't cr Okay, I hate- I hate it when it crashes the game, though. Cause it okay, come on, let's do this. Let's not totally mess up this time, though. Your mind reels. How can you discount you like this? So you're just giving up? You don't know what I've been through. 
I don't even share that with you. You can't. You literally can't feel despair. You can't understand how this feels. You're just one face out of many. One little piece of me who monkeys around for the amusement of others. I don't see what they're saying about you. I guess you wouldn't care. You don't care what you do reflects on us. Anything to get a laugh, right? It was alright for a while, but now we're too divided. I need more space from you. We can't coexist anymore. Oh. Is he right? The community isn't going to care if you're me all the time. They want to see our real face, even if they don't see what, like what they see. They want the connection. We've always tried to be genuine and honest. Why should it be different now? I can barely muster up the energy anymore, Jack. I can be the same person that... I can't be the person they want. I don't want to let them down. I can't let them down. This is the only way to end this. Oh! Oh, it's a chase! Oh, it's a chase! Urgh. Yes! You have to say him before he does something he'll regret. You're wrong about the subscribers. You're wrong about the community. They really care about you. Yeah, they might say that. They're just looking for their next laugh. Their next 20 minutes of entertainment. Now stop struggling. I'm sick of this fighting. One of us has to win. He it has to be me. I have to make it right. You think you're losing. What is it you have to make right? I need to set this all free. I can't do it if you keep getting in my way. I can help you. I don't want your help. It's over. I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. But for me, even if it's only 20 minutes of laughter, it's sometimes the only 20 minutes in a day I can laugh. You keep me company, like a friend, when there's no one. Thank you. Please, just thank you. It's not just her. We all love you. Not just because you're freaking hilarious, but also because, you know, it's real for us. I have millions of friends to talk to whenever I'm down or when I'm super excited about anything. You give me the energy and the inspiration to keep doing what I love, which is creating. So, thank you. I am so proud of who you are and what you're doing. Thank you for giving me the courage to follow my dreams. You've made me want to create again, to just keep on trying until I crack whatever the hell it is I'm doing. I mean, hey, how cool is that, dude? Don't give up. Stay I determined! See? They do care, even if it doesn't feel like it. Now that it's easy to forget. That's why I'm here. That's why you need me. Because you can't do it alone. Nobody should expect you to either. Runes are lighted or lighter when carried by two. From like, a f or more. Like, a few million more. I'm sorry, Jack. Don't be. I might not be able to feel despair, or burnout, or anything negative, really. But I think that helps me see things in a better way. Helps me see you the way everyone else does. So we easy to forget that everyone else sees us differently than we see ourselves. So let me continue to be the one to remind you of that. Thanks. Oh, come on. I think we've been separated for far too long. Super sane. Well, that feels better. Wait, where do I go now? Thank you. Oh, if I touch the walls. Thank you. Thank you. I thought 
thought you were gone. Is everything okay? Well, thanks for the warm welcome. You know, that's not what I meant. So what happened? There was this burst of light and... I don't really remember what much. Me neither. It was weird. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you're back. Where, where's Sean? Well, here. I mean, we were the same person this whole time. Now it's just official. I still can't believe Billy did all... <laughs> Keep switching with it improperly. I still can't believe Billy did all that. Believe it or not, Billy was just trying to help. My Sean side did some digging while trying to figure out how to get us back and found out what happened. I mean, it's kind of convenient, you know, me meeting all my subscribers and beloved game characters. It read a bit like a fanfiction, and that's what it was. A well-intentioned story starring me being written by a little boy trying to fix something he saw was broken. But how on earth did he do it? Billy isn't installed like the other characters. He's from a Flash game, so he was saved in the cookies of my computer. Part wireish, part internet. He's basically one of the most powerful people here. So, he used the internet to bring us all here and send you on an ego trip? I doubt that was it. I think he brought us here to show Jack how valuable he is to us. I agree. We sort of underestimate how complicated things could become because, well, at his heart, He's just a little boy doing the best he can he could. So why are we still here? Well, he must be uploading everyone. But I think he queued us last. He must have wanted to make sure we had a chance to say goodbye. So I guess we should say goodbye and stuff before Billy sends us off. Well, man, it was great meeting you, even if no one is going to believe me. I may not believe it myself, but you know, this is the most awesome thing that's ever happened to me. Well, it sounds like this is goodbye forever. We still meet at conventions and stuff, and we'll always have YouTube. Sadly, the closest convention to me is Awesome Con, but you haven't been to that one. But you never know, I guess I could Google it or something. We could ask them to hire you. That would probably be more effective. See you around, man. Yeah, thanks for everything. See you. So, I guess it's time for me, too. I want to say thank you, Jenny, for everything. Even if it weren't for you, I, I don't know how this would have ended. No problem. It all really meant a lot to me. All of this, I'll never forget it. I'm really happy to have met you. I know, you're making me cry, too. Come here. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Oh. Well, this is a relief. Your adventure. Can I go out? I say see you here, Sam. I should probably cover this up. Don't want to track flies. It's the same as before. Everyone's gone, though. I think I can get one recording in before I go to bed. I think I know what it's going to be about. Yeah. Jay, Cliff, Jenny, Cliff, and everyone else are waiting for me. So I guess it's back to work I go. Top of the more. Top of the morning, Eli! Oh, I can't do it. Top of the morning, Eli! My name is Zach Zeph the Guy, and welcome back. I just, I don't have a lot of words right now, sorry. 
Let me start bursting into tears in the next few minutes then while well, you're gonna have to sit me so with me on this ride. A little adventure. Even be smiling. Team Jack. Team Jack, Team Septic, Team I, Team Jack Septica. Nice. The Undertale. Mark. Felix. Oh, germ was in it? There's just no words for this. It's it was amazing, even if some things some things did go wrong along the way, but overall it was a learning and fun experience. I loved it. So thank you.
dang beasts. Overture, Jack Spartan, we blew down your door. <laughs> Cough syrup. Santa just off. Welcome to Wireland. Electronic Wireland. Universal. The Battle of Billy. Let's give a laugh all. Th thoroughly an unappreciated and underpaid computer repair woman. Keeping up with the McBosses and Girl on the Wall. Listen up, maggots. Unjustly imprisoned. Oh, sweetie. Escape attempt. Your biggest fan. Calling all the animatronics. Performing your... Okay, I can't read all these. Other sands I see up there. Megalovator. <laughs> Love that. All the way to the gallery. That's gonna be something we're gonna have to see, aren't isn't there? Music people I'd like to thank. Aww. That's cute artwork. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Just... And honestly, I would love to meet Jack in real life. Like, Jack, Mark, all of them. It's really nice. Oh. Aww. But yeah, I just... Because they are such amazing people. And they're also my inspirations for YouTube, too. Which I, I don't talk about, a lot about that, but... Yeah, it's just... I just watch them and I get ideas sometimes from them. I get inspired. Toby Fox, Jack, and us. All right, everyone, please gather a little okay. closer. Yes, that's it. We are going to give Jack a proper send off with the Wireland National <laughs> Anthem. Let's just get this sentimental crap over. It is so much more than just sentimental. It is our culture, our heritage, our... Yeah, yeah, can we just get to the part where I sing over everyone? Oh, if you want me to be quieter, I can be. No! Everyone has to sing like they're running away from a wild axe man! That's tradition, too! Nay, stop jumping up and down. It's really distracting. Billy, do you want to stand next to me up front? Yeah, let's keep all the tall people in the back where they belong. Also, baby, can you try to be a bit less creepy this time? I will try, but this is my default voice. There are no guarantees. Uh, guys? Why are the officers here? I think they're here to get everyone in place. Oh! Don't push me! I can move on my own. Attention! We are gonna give Jack the best damn <laughs> send off in the history of send off, so you maggots better shape up or shape up! <laughs> Um, oh. Doesn't matter. You're not, like, corporate. Corporeal. Shh. We're about to start. Everyone ready? Let's begin. Ow, my ears! That's a bit too much. I don't know, I'm just gonna put a hand on her and everything. Oh. Oops.
nice. Okay. It's beautifully orchestrated. Whew, long day. That was a really long sign, but it looks like everyone's going home, except the 18 plus crowd. Ooh, boy. That probably doesn't include me. What? Wait, why is Baby even there? So, great convention, right? It was the line, I was lying to meet you, but I got hit by the cutoff. Yeah, it was great. Sorry you didn't get up to meet me, but hey, we're talking now. So, it happened, right? What happened? Um, you know that thing? Shame Billy isn't here. Yeah, I miss that guy. I don't. Good guy, though. Yeah, right, Jenny? It did happen! I need... Should just be like this. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were going meta. Okay, I'll get here. I'll make this all nice for you. Hi, Jack. How are you doing? Hey, Axel Elephant. Thanks so much for playing this game. I should have gone with my. I should have just gone to Axel. Developers, I really appreciate this, and we really hope you had a great time. But more importantly, we want you to remember something. I could have never gotten where I am if it weren't for you. I see it would have been possible if not for the community. Every single one of you is valuable. You may not see that all the time, and that's okay. But Axel Elephant, you are important. You're an important part of the community. You're an important part of the lives of the people around you. So often, we're our harshest critics and our own biggest bullies. We belittle the impact we have on others because we're too critical of ourselves or underestimate our own gifts and talents. So if you remember anything from this game, please remember that. You are amazing. You are worth it, Axel. If you don't feel that way, that's okay too. It's a huge community out there full of amazing people who will be there for you and will encourage you. This community exists in part because of you, and that makes you valuable to me and valuable to us. Thank you, Axel, for being a part of this community. You can do what we do without people like you. Thanks again for playing this game, Axel. See, part of my name even is inspired by Jack, so that's... He's... See you around. Oh, I hope. Pax, VidCon, maybe. I don't know. Welcome to the gallery. Be sure to talk to everyone and everything. <laughs> hey Jack, remember this? It's this actual screenshot from the first time you attempted to play the boss on your live stream. That was an absolute amazing and surreal experience. I think the game on your channel is such an honor, especially since said stream was going to such a good cause. By the way, the person who was writing this is Katie, the boss of the boss, you could say. You can find me in the gallery, but I wanted to say a couple of words here about the stream. Why it was so important that the boss was featured here at the time. This game was made in 2017. You could probably tell by the fact that the re references to the games you played stopped around kindergarten. But this all just the trip has been really cool for you. But at the time, we didn't know you were going through a lot. Well, I guess that means uh, the cutoff will be at, like, for a glitch in the system, which is the sequel. Um, I don't know if they'll make references to Deltarune, though. All the things you said at the end of 2017 made me a bit nervous about you playing this game. Of course, I didn't know exactly what you were going through, and I didn't need to. That's why I was so vague in the battle, but the timing just felt perfect, too perfect. The fact that you played this game while talking about PMA and getting help is so much more significant than you can imagine. And you went through a lot as well, but 2017 was the last year for the team either. I think someone told me about that. Let me Google it one quick sec. Because I've heard of it. I've heard of it before, but I just forget what it is. Positive mental... Uh...
Oh, uh, okay. Um, it's not very specific to what it is, but it is something. It's so much more significant than you can imagine. I know you went through a lot as well, but 2017 was the best year for the team either. Not this entire game came to be because I have depression. HD as well. I can relate to that, so I know what you mean. I didn't feel like life was worth living anymore, or that it was valuable, or that it mattered to anyone. My mom gave me some advice that inspired the whole game. She told me that we are our own biggest bullies, and that we need to be s stop being so hard on ourselves. No one is crueler to us than we are. I believe that so firmly now. While working on the portal section, my depression had worsened again. This time, I had your community around me. I had their support and their encouragement. I had a team and a group of best friends I made because of you and your channel. Suddenly, so I wasn't so alone anymore. It didn't take me to snap out of it and finish this game. This game is near and dear to me, and you can probably tell I poured my heart and soul into it. I love your community more than I words can express. Even if ultimately the cutscenes didn't work, the fact that you thought of us for that stream in particular resonates with me. I feel like this game was made for exactly the kind of people you were trying to reach and to help. People like me. Thank you, Jack, for thinking of us. For thinking for keep up with our game and even after you can get it working out. Thank you. you. can get it working on the stream. Keep up that PMA and know that we are at Sarcastic Boss the games will always be there and cheering you and your community on. I think it's like positive mental attitude. I don't know. It's said several things about it. So there's a lot of people here, so we'll get through them. Hey Jack, my name is Echo Echo. I'm kind of writing this at 1.56 a.m. and I'm sleep deprived. This probably isn't healthy. I want to thank you for playing this game. It means a lot to everyone involved. I love your videos and your personality. I know you hear messages of all different types, but I wanted to say some things in my own way. Thanks, you nerd, for everything, for those laughs, smiles, friends, pick me up, and down to earth moments. Thank you so much, Jack. You mean a lot to me. I'm gonna stop so you can talk to others. Happy gaming, you Irish potato. How many people are there? Oh, this is gonna be a bit much. Oh my. Oh my. Up oh, there's anti. Well. I'm actually going to edit this part out because I just want to do these to myself, actually. Because right, I just want to read them silently. Actually, let's see. Hi, Jack. I'm Kat, or Kate Cat Thang, or if you've seen that username in the comments. Would you look at that? I'm in a, I'm in a video game. I've been in the community for a hot minute now. I was introduced by my best friend and got hooked in October 2016 with the first anti-apocalypse. That was awesome, dude. I'm still on the edge of my seat with every appearance. Anyways, I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad I asked Katie if I could playtest for her. I was the first Let's Player of this game. Truly an honor, because this game has brought me so many friends and opportunities and has made me appreciate the fandom a trillion more times than I already did. I'm working with her and the team at SPAG, <laughs> look out for the sequel, and on the YouTube channel as a voice actor, and just generally having a good, great time. Thanks for that, man, and for all the awesome stuff that you do. I hope you really like playing that. I hope you like the bon bonus track, Cough Syrup, the musical, because those are my lyrics, and they were fun to write. Nice. Yeah, I've seen it. It's pretty good. Hi, I'm Emmy. I played Jenny and May in this game. Keep spraying the magic that, you, that is your joy and optimism in this, to this world. Emmy Cat. It's been a great, crazy road trip so far. Best bud Jack in this driver's seat and his millions of fans in the backseat having a ro rip roaring time. Cheers. That'd be a huge band if Jack had a road trip with all the subscribers. That'd be a lot. Hey Jack, I'm not good at this sort of thing since I'm really awkward with heartfelt messages, but I just wanted to say thanks for being hilarious and bringing a smile to my face. I always watch your videos, but when I do, I they never fail to cheer me up, and some of them have gone me through the bus rough times every now and then. So thanks for so thanks a bunch. For be keep being awesome. See, this is the same how I feel because I don't watch them as often now. Like I watch series that I like and everything, but I just like it. It's good. <laughs> the I love that. That's amazing. Jack, hello, tis I, Emily, the one responsible for the craziness I, I, that is for, and forever shall be known as Character Cliff. Katie and I have been writing the same. I've trained your dragon fanfiction to air for the last nearly four years. Next thing you know. Home in the world. Rip. She wants to rip Cliff from his phone home in the world of obscure fan fiction. From, now, from one dark to, dork to another, you must understand that we have to stand up for each other and dork them. That being said, I was a bit apprehensive allowing my cliffs to go from the confines of fanfiction to the world of gaming. I sincerely hope they enjoyed him, but as you saw, Cliff is a bit of a talker and likes to toss random puns at the most inconvenient times. Also, hide your snacks, you'll literally all your cake shamelessly and without mercy. Also, if you love Cliff, you you love me because me and Cliff are one and the same, the fact that he is distinctly male and I am not. 
Now go forth, my good friend, and stay dorky. Hope you love the game and have a fantabulous day, sir. And this is Citrus, I'm guessing? I don't even sorry, you have meant so much to me over the last couple of years. I saw the first video by you. Happy girls, by the way, rip. Since such a dark and hopeless time that I wasn't, I hadn't even smiled in months. But for the rest of my, the night, my sides were aching from laughing so hard. I know. <laughs> Sometimes I do that a lot. <laughs> I know you've heard it a million times, but thank you for saying me for thanking me. See, making me see good in the world again. The last couple of years have been so brighter since I found you and your channel, and you have helped me change so much because of your enthusiasm for life and your drive to be the best you can be. You sparked my desire to be more and to do more. Because yeah, I now have the courage to sit in front of a camera, playing games, trying my hardest to, to be the best me, and to maybe make someone else smile. You're an incredible man, Sean. I will always be the, the one in the sea of faces cheering you on and watching you grow. Keep doing what you're doing, keep stretching your horizons, and you will continue to change lives. Danny Cobalt, Alyssa. Oh. That's not Citrus. Oof. Or oof. I say, sometimes when I say oof, it turns out to be oof, but yeah. I'm Catherine, aka. I'll just read this in my head. So that way I get through it a lot of this. That's nice. Yeah. Altair. Yeah. Bossatron. That's nice. Yeah, I'll have to go through all of this, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know I have ADHD, so I struggle with these kinds of things every day. I wonder, like I'm fidgeting with my hands, or just so I've been more, I've become more reclusive with myself. That's kind of a downside to me, like kind of just, just because I take medicine. To, for those of you who don't know, and I like to just help me like not be like the bouncy, jumpy boy that I am, that I was technically. Because, well, I was, like, overwhelming and annoying to everyone that I was, like. And I know that, like, some people might be like, Oh, you're, you'd probably be fine. No, I was, like, I was bad. Like, and I hate, like, having the feeling that I'm, I annoy other people. Because it's just annoying to myself, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, I would want Jack a hug with Jack if I ever met him. Because, honestly, I love hugs. Hugs are amazing. Oh, that was short. What's that? I need to watch Jack play the game after this now. That's gonna be my next. After I. Because I already finished his Deltarune series. And then I have the rest of Spider Man, and then I'll be watching his series on this. Oh boy. Huh. I, I'm curious to know how they uh, made it without having actual, like, RPG battles. Oh! 
made a range shot of all the way. That's pretty. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> PTSD. Oh, now we're getting to the characters. Oh. Yeah. I hope you do get used, Julie. Bit more sarcastic. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> yeah, I hope she will get used in a boss in one of the boss games. I don't know if in the boss is nothing or the boss glitch of the system. Hopefully in the sequel. I really do hope. Huh. It's another artist. Yeah. It is amazing when content creators cre meet their fr fans. <laughs> oh, I love that pun. Oh, I've heard it when the game drums made that pun. <laughs> What's a fish when there was a fish? <laughs> oh, when he lost his pencil. Where's my. <laughs> I love the uh, road work ahead. I sure hope it does, because uh, every time my sister said it, I just had the worst case of giggles. <laughs> There is no person like Jack, I don't think, honestly. Auntie, how's it going? This is fair, I should have been the villain of the game. I mean... I mean... <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ooh, is he gonna be the villain for the sequel? That could be interesting. Ah, oh, her name's Eva. I just thought of like Eva for. A, wait, is her name Eva the the bot who like says weird stuff if you say weird stuff back to her? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see how Sans is doing. Why are you here? Hey, you said I was your favorite and this team was heavily inspired by Undertale. Seemed natural. So I'll buy something? Pass on that. Thank you. Oh, it's Jay! Mm -hmm. Oh, he's releasing an album? Ooh. Oh, he's probably released it by now, since it's, the game's been out a while. <laughs> Alright. Is this Citrus? Nope, this is Justin.
Yeah. And a lot of references that I probably didn't get, but I still enjoyed them the last scene if I didn't get them. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh. Aw. Oh. I can save read. <laughs> nice. See, it's weird not being Jack, though, because I'm just reading people's and I feel, Hey, Ma! Ma! Ma, I finished the game! Are you proud of me? <laughs> nice. Here. Huh. Ooh. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I was as great as an artist as everyone else, but yeah. Fantastic boss the games. Whoa. Nice. It's cool to see all the fan art. Whoa, that that's good. <laughs> yeah, I guess you would be a little concerned. <laughs> like the beard on that. Little companion cube. Rip. That died. Rip. Nice. Oh, I thought I saw something on image change that scared me. Whoa, that's realistic. <laughs> that's nice, I like, like the little comics kind of thing. <laughs> that's nice. I love it. Nice. Oh, it's a lot of people. That's cool. That's a cute picture of Jack. Triggered Billy. Nice. Ooh. Is that the boss is nothing, maybe? I don't know. Hey, Jack. Sushi! Yeah, I love on nine. <laughs> I love leather. Business card portfolio. Yep. My butt's starting to hurt from staying here for so long. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot. Wait, is that Phil? Oh, wait. Oh, there's Henry Stickman in the background. I love it. There's May, Greg, Balloon Boy. Go, May. Oh, he's on nine. Spooder Man. There's, there's a fair amount of characters in. Uh, Morty, Rick. 
Oh, yeah, that one's Rick, I forgot. Oh, I'm just, I'm big and stupid. Aw. Mark, Jack, Felix, nice. Yeah. Nice. Hi. Okay, I'll read this. Hi, I'm Katie. I guess you could say that I'm the boss of the boss. I was the one who came up with the idea. Not the team care. Program most of the game itself. Wrote most of the dialogue and were agonized over every aspect of it for nine months straight. That's in addition to playing the newscaster, the turrets, Alphys, May, and creating some sound effects of my own. And I helped sing the uh, la song on the Layers of Fierce record. Yeah, I definitely put a lot of work into it. I'm so glad you played it. It means a lot. So, I want to thank you for playing this game. I would call it my game, but it's a lot more than that. I might have gotten the ball rolling, but it's our game, the communities. I would tell you the story of how this game came to be, but I think I'll save that for the art book. I could tell you in person at PAX East if I get, person, get the chance to meet you. I'll be there this year, and I'd love to talk to you in person. I think, I think that she she told me once that she actually has. You even told me via Tumblr reblog that... I, be really nice if we met in person. I will be holding you to that. As long as your meet and greet isn't Saturday, I'll be there. Can't wait. Silly little game idea seemed to be the answer to my prayers for Risen Fresh. Joke, I really did pray for creative ideas and God came through for me. In fact, there are a lot of very convenient events in the development in this game. Every time I need a new idea, either I or someone on the team got a good one. Every time I need to replace someone or find someone to help a team member out, the right person stepped in up at stepped up at exactly the right time. Sometimes you have it even happened before I knew I was going to need someone. How's that for Providence? I, re I really feel like the game was meant to be. Like it could really make an impact on someone. If it does help even one person, that's good enough for me. I poured everything I had in this game. Finances, time, energy. In time I could have spent sleeping, I know what you mean. You meant it, and I probably contributed it. And But I'm so proud of how it came out. How it's actually come together in ways I never could have dreamed. There's just ideas for this game. I had for this game pale in comparison to this, and your community never came. And, oh, and your community came through for time for me time and time again. I could never have done this without them, and I could never have made the friends that I made along the way if not for you. This game may have started you, but it was really about the community and how powerful it is. About not kicking yourself when you're already down. About looking that. About remembering that good can come from bad situations if you know how to look at it. I don't think that these are lessons I've learned the easy way. I still struggle with them every day. So no, so, oh, frick. Whoever you are, be you, Jack, or an amazing person. Be you, or Jack, or an amazing person in the community. So that's me. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I hope this that's made you reevaluate your life and how, how you look at situations. Sean, thank you for making researching so much fun. I had to watch countless hours of video to write for you, and I had a blast. You're incredible, man. I hey, look forward to seeing what you do next. I should probably wrap this up. Thank you again for playing my game. Hope you'll continue to support Sarcastic Fausta through donations or on our Patreon or through combust Combustible Pasta Studios, our YouTube channel, or just by playing our games. I want to keep bringing you these amazing games, so please consider helping us out so that we can help you out. Thanks. Thank you again. Katie. Nice. Spark. A little inspiration goes along. Ooh, I'll be playing that probably. Unless it's already been out, because oh, that would be a little tricky. Draw attention to the phone box. The phone box in the house that we were using went into the back area too much. We didn't want the player to get stuck. Oh no, I don't know too much Doctor Who stuff. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is a straight up teaser. We're getting into this. Is it helping that Klaus is barking outside? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that actually scared me. Nice. That's amazing. Oh yeah, I've heard of Septiscape. Alright. So I need a credit card. The boss is nothing. Nice. Oh yeah, because it's from his perspective, I remember. 
I've heard of this. They've played it on their stuff. Yep, it's about all the different uh, per split or personalities that Jack has. Heard of it. Ego fan game. Yep, about French. Oh, yeah, it's an alter ego. That's what I meant. Yep. Pete, entertain. Entertain is a 2D comedy and adventure Jacksepticeye fan game. Nice. Septic Sweethearts. Nice. Egocentric Dating Sim. Nice. The Jacksepticeye game 2. Well, here are, wait, was it? Hello, game ending, Fox. Well, Jack, do you want to end this game or keep looking around? Ready to go. Hey, we hope, well, we hope you love the game. We will be loving, willing to help sarcastic pasta games get off the ground. Your contact info is included in the game files. Thank you again for playing. Now, enjoy this la one last thing we have for you. Alright. Well, I guess I'll have to wrap the video up. I really did love playing this game. Even if I had to delay it at some point because I was nervous about how one of the let's plays of it came out. But I'll be watching this as I'm saying this, but yeah. I just... I got nervous, and I stopped for a while, but I still got back into it, and rolled with the punches, just kept going. Because I wanted to finish this game because it meant a lot to people who uh, made it to like have people play it. And I just wanted to make them happy. And I wanted to make you guys happy, too. Because I... Because I know at least some of you out there like me in some ways. Or not, I don't know. It was a little glitchy there, but yeah. I just. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, then just... Uh, I'm not going to do my normal outro, so I'll just skip. I just... I had fun. Hope you guys did, too. I'll see you guys later. Bye-o!